hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a minute and i'm so excited to be back guys today i'm going to be doing the uk black girl makeup you guys know that this has been trending for like three years but i've never actually tried it so to this time around i decided let me try it you've probably seen a short video on this uk black girl makeup that i did but you know me i do not get keep things so i'm going to teach you how to do the uk black girl makeup this has trended for a while and right now we as usual we always start with moisturizer i've just moisturized my face with the ganya sakura glow hyaluron serum now this has 30 times hyaluronic acid and it's really good for my skin especially like if you're in your 30s and then now we are going to do our eyebrows as usual and we what i normally do with my eyebrows is that i just fill them in with a black pencil because they are sparse i have very sparse eyebrows and i'm not going to lie about that if you have sparse eyebrows like me make sure you shape them fast try and trim them fast and then you know fill them in with a black or dark brown pencil and then uh for the next step we are going to like highlight our eyebrows and in this case make them pop against our skin tone that is also brown so the the eyebrows might be invis invisible so what we are going to do is that i'm just going to apply the illegal pro Conceal concealer above and below my eyebrows this helps you know make the eyebrows pop against your skin and then i'm just going to use a brush to blend all that out and i'm dragging the excess um concealer onto my eyelid because we will also need to apply some concealer as eyeshadow primer on our eyelids now once that is done i'm just going to use this rimmel brow gel and i'm just going it's a clear brow gel so i'm just going to make sure that i apply it lightly on top and then pat it in you know with my finger and let it dry and then i'm just going to take this beauty blender it's a damp beauty blender and i'm just going to make sure that i buff in the area make sure that the excess concealer is no longer on my skin before i apply my makeup primer now this primer is by makeup revolution it's the pore filling primer it's a pore filling primer uh, so i'm just going to dab a little over my face and then i'm just going to lightly apply it over my face because we don't want the makeup primer inside our skin uh, our makeup primer is not a skincare product therefore it shouldn't be getting into your skin you know deep into your pores so i just apply it lightly i don't rub it over my face as if i'm applying moisturizer don't do that that might you know cause flare ups from acne and all that it might block your pores because as i said makeup is not skincare so i'll just lightly dab it over my face and then now i'm going to go in with this color corrector by illegal it's an orange color corrector and i'm just going to apply it in the areas that i feel have dark shadows you can also apply it on dark spots if you have dark spots so i'm just going to dab dab that in with a little brush and make sure that it is evenly blended into my skin you also don't want a layer of red or orange on your face so make sure that it is blended into your skin tone i'll also definitely go over that with a beauty blender and make sure that it, everything is nicely blended in now for the foundation we're going to mix two foundation shades as i showed you earlier in the video i've mixed the rimmel kind and free skin tint and i'm also going to mix it with this maybelline fit me foundation and i love that that combination because the skin tint is a bit light uh, it's supposed to be a really lightweight coverage it's just supposed to be a skin tint uh, and the shade was mocha for the skin tint i used the shade mocha which is the rimmel kind and free and for the maybelline fit me i used the shade cappuccino which is a bit lighter than my skin tone so those two uh, created this beautiful shade that is almost my skin tone it's very rare for you to get a foundation shade that is your exact color because your skin also just doesn't have one shade it has multiple shades 
so it's really hard but you know you get the closest shade possible and then now for the uk black bell makeup this is the defining feature of their makeup the concealer when it comes to brightening their under eyes they go bright i mean bright so basically <laughs> although this is uh like somewhat the perfect concealer for my skin because it's not very very light for my skin tone but i will use a lot because with uk black girl makeup they do use a lot of concealer i'm sure concealer shades in the uk are off i mean the concealer prices are off the charts and if you have a concealer brand in the uk you're making a killing because just look at the application method now i did do a lot of research on various social media platforms for me to get this black girl uk black girl makeup look i did do a lot of research so they do actually apply their concealer like this i know it sounds crazy but they do and maybe they dig down to something you never really know so i'm just going to dab that in with a flat brush dab 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 and then after dabbing it in of course i'll go in with a beauty blender and make sure that everything is nicely blended into my skin now i'm not a fan of contour because of my face shape my face is kind of like long and skinny with prominent cheekbones so i rarely do contour because the purpose of contour is to sculpt your face i think i already have a sculpted face but for this case we're just going to do it and i'm just using an illegal uh, concealer it's in a really dark shade so it acts as contour and i'm just going it's not that dark for my skin tone but neither is it that light could even pass as a foundation shade for me but it still works as a contour shade on my skin as you're going to see i didn't want a really dark contour because as i said i have a fairly sculpted face but for the uk black girl makeup you require contour and that's why i had to contour my face so we're just contouring using this early girl Concealer, I believe this was the shade Coco, if I'm not wrong. I'll correct it in the in somewhere in the video if it's wrong, but I believe it was the shade Coco. And I'm also going in with a brush just to, to sculpt my nose. In case my nose contour looks crooked, I've said in several videos that I broke my nose, so it's my nose that is crooked, not the contour. And then we are again. The UK black girl makeup, as I said, if you have a concealer brand in the UK, you're making a killing. So right now, this is the second part of highlighting our under eyes. And we are using a concealer again. And I use the Rimmel Kind and Free Concealer in the shade Tan. And then now that powder that you've just seen me showing you. Yes, it's almost over. But what can we do? The economy is bad. Now we are going to apply that Maybelline Fit Me Powder. On the uh, just set the areas that I've applied the concealer. Now for the UK girls, they use a banana powder or a very yellow based powder to set their under eyes, and uh, that will be the difference with this makeup because I don't have a banana powder. I just have like this normal colored brown setting powders, but it will still have to do. And then now we're going to go in with that uh, brown, dark brown shade as eyeshadow as our face set. So we are not going to remove the face powder that we've already put on our face. So as our face sets, we're going to do our uh, eyeshadow. And for eyeshadow, I've just used that dark brown maroony shade. Because with UK black girl makeup, the makeup is a bit neutral. It's neutral. The eyeshadow is neutral so their main focus is basically the really bright under eyes which you've just seen me doing i think i could have even gone brighter because that is that brightness is not contrasting on my face but for eyeshadow as i've said keep it simple different shades of brown so i've gone with the dark brown on the outer corner of my eyes a medium brown on the center of my eyelid and a really light brown in the inner corner of my eyelids and then i'm just going to go in with this maybelline uh, kajal black kajal and i'm just going to like line my waterline with it and then we are going to go in with an eyeliner pen a black one 
and we are also going to like tight line our waterline and also create a very small wing and then after that put on false lashes and I think our eye look is done for the UK black girl makeup because they don't do much with their eyeshadow everything is about their bright under eyes and then after that I'm just going to put a little bit of dark brown uh, eyeshadow below my on my lower lids another defining feature is their lips as you guys will see they normally have like big pouty lips that are glossy <laughs> now I also have big pouty lips I'm an African so essentially I normally um, Put, what they do is that they put, uh, they line their lips with a dark brown pencil. I normally line my lips with a black pencil, but it could be too much for the UK black girl. So I did a dark brown pencil. And then I'm just going to use this nude Maybelline Sensational Lipstick. And then line it again with another pink Maybelline Sensational Lipstick. Now, I love this lipstick with this look. It's the shade, not Mango Tango, it's the shade... I'm going to put the shade name somewhere in the video then I just pat it dry with my finger and make sure that it's dry and then apply another layer of the Maybelline Sensational Lipstick they essentially do like some type of nude look but they create like two-toned lips and then there's some who do have naturally two-toned you know lips but not everyone has naturally two-toned lips so they do a make it two-toned and then i'll remove the excess powder before i proceed with the final step of the lips so i'm just going to uh, brush brush with that big brush and remove the excess setting powder that i'd used to set my under eyes to make sure that they're bright as you can see my face is usually really sculpted there was no need for all the sculpting but with UK black girl makeup you do have to sculpt your face and then I'm going to put on blush because it's also a defining feature of the UK black girl makeup they do use a lot of blush and they use it to make their cheekbones more prominent so you won't apply your blush on the apple of your cheek but you're kind of going to drag it along your cheekbone as I'm doing and I've just used a boohoo beauty blush it was a really cheap blush about one pound I think I literally bought it at one pound but it does do the job so I'm going to just dab it lightly because I already have a full face of makeup and then afterwards I'm going to apply a little bit of powder blush on top just to make the blush pop more and I'm good using a makeup revolution blush just a normal pink blush and there we have it they normally drag it along their cheekbones to make it more prominent and then afterwards I'm just going to you know do a little bit of finishing touches and then as we said our their lips are normally so glossy so we cannot fail to apply lip gloss on our lips but before I apply the lip gloss what I'm doing is that I'm just going to highlight my nose and I'm using a NYX uh, liquid eyeshadow. It's supposed to be a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Wow Cacao, but I'm just going to use it as a nose highlighter. And then I'm using a NYX highlighter in the shade Golden Hour. And then I'm just going to use uh, this Makeup Re Revolution lip oil. I think it was I had Revolution lip oil. It was really affordable, but smells really good. And it also creates a really nice finish. And I've just uh, 